So I have an update about the Sumner County, Tennessee murders, and I'm going to read an article uh, by CNN. It says at least three of the seven people killed in Sumner County, Tennessee were related to the suspect in the slayings, including his mother, father, and uncle. Tennessee Bureau of Investigation Director David uh, Roach said Monday, the victims also included three generations of another family, a 12-year-old girl among them and a woman who is not related to Cummings. Um, the victims were likely dead for more than a day upon being discovered. Michael Cummings, the 25-year-old suspect, has a long criminal record and authorities say was released from prison earlier this year. And he was hospitalized after being shot by a sheriff's deputy. His injuries are not life-threatening and he has not been formally charged. An eighth victim, also Cummins' relative, is in the hospital in critical condition. Authorities discovered six of the bodies in the injured victim off a rural road between Westmoreland and Fairfield, small towns about 50 miles northeast of Nashville. A seventh body was found at a home less than a mile away from the primary crime scene. The victims are identified as David Carl Cummings, age 51, and that's the suspect's dad, the suspect's mom, Clara Jane Cummings, age 44, his uncle, uh, Charles Edwards, uh, wholesale 45, Rachel Dawn McLaughlin P, 43, whose relationship to Cummings is unknown, McLaughlin P's daughter, Sapphire, age 12, McLaughlin P's mother, Marsha Elizabeth uh, Knuckles, age 64, and Cheryl uh, Feral, 69, who is not related to Cummings. Tennessee investigators said the home where six of the victims were found dead over the weekend was one of the most complex and gruesome crime scenes they've ever encountered. This is the one of the most horrific cases that I have had to ever encounter and deal with, said District Attorney Ray um, Whitley who has been in his position since 1980. Added uh, Sheriff Sonny Weatherford, who has been in law enforcement since 1983. I've never seen anything that would even come close to this. A family member called police Saturday after finding four of the bodies, and the TBI quickly announced investigators had found a fifth body at a nearby home. The next day, the Bureau said it had found two more bodies at the first house. Investigators declined to say how the victims were killed, citing the ongoing investigation. After Cummings was identified as the suspect, police said a search plane located him in a creek bed about a mile from the first home. More than a dozen SWAT team members converged on the creek, the TBI said. The situation escalated for reasons under investigation and resulted in at least one officer firing his service weapon, striking Cummings, the TBI said, adding that no officers were hurt. Cummings has a lengthy criminal history, according to a TBI background check. It includes pleading guilty to violating a protective order in 2013, entering into a plea deal for attempted assault and a probation violation in 2013, pleading guilty to theft and evading arrest in 2017, pleading guilty to domestic assault and probation violation in 2017, and convictions in 2018 on aggravated assault and aggravated arson charges. Cummings was recently released from prison on January 19, 2019. Before his latest arrest, Cummings was scheduled to remain on probation until 2027, the Tennessee Department of Corrections said. I'll keep you guys updated about this case as we learn more. Um, if I mispronounced anything, I'm so sorry. And I just want to say thank you to whoever helped me with the pronunciation of um, some of the last names and the town that they're from. Yesterday, they left me a comment. Thank you so much. I have trouble with pronunciation, but I have you guys to help me out. I will see you guys later. God bless you. I love you. Peace.